Okay, just arrived in Frankfurt uh, overnight from uh, from Toronto to get here. So, four hour layover till I get to Milan. Uh, to the CREA conference that I'm going to. So I've come up with this idea to do something on what I call the visual storytelling landscape and eventually I'm going to have them do video in the session based on this. But I need an infographic to help explain this because I've only got an hour and i got to get this across in a hurry. I actually penciled it up last night in Toronto waiting for the plane. Um, so I've just got to uh, ink it in and erase it and maybe start coloring it. Uh, it's in my journal and I'm hoping to take like a photograph and maybe project it at the conference. But uh, what I got so far in Toronto, I think it's looking really good, so I've got to find a good spot here in the airport uh, to work on that in the next little bit. I think I'll camp right here. So just got into Milan yesterday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, it's Sunday morning now. Couldn't move on the streets, just it was so bad. Couldn't, uh, couldn't even move on the streets. But managed to get the infographic done on the plane yesterday. It's turned out really well. And it's kind of a, an overview of what I like to call the visual storytelling landscape. It's a, a map of uh, artifacts or artifact categories that you would make as a, uh, as a team. So visual thinking for teams and the different kind of artifacts they would make from things that are, uh, well, kind of two-dimensional or tangible to virtual, like digital artifacts as well. But I think it's really important that teams are, uh, are creating visual artifacts. Uh, oh, here's a really cool street right down here. This is really, really cool down here. Have a look. Anyways, the, uh, the visual storytelling landscape. For me, this visual storytelling landscape is really key especially for teams and even individuals when they're working to get an idea of you know the kind of things that they, they are or are not working on the gaps that they might have because I think it's really important that teams leave um, visual artifacts of their journey and their knowledge and what they collect uh, I think it's really really critical because without those you've got no way really to go back and easily look at the past and understand where you've come from remind yourself what you've discovered what you've put together and what you've created so far. So I think those things are absolutely essential. Gonna have a mambo. If you're gonna be a square, you ain't gonna go nowhere. Hey mambo, mambo italiano, hey mambo, mambo italiano, go go to Shake it like a deal bunny, hello cause she did you get a happy in the pits when you mambo italiano I'm in Milano, uh, Malpensa Airport, getting ready to board uh, in a few uh, few minutes here. Uh, trip home, going back through Munich. So, just coming off the CREA conference, and uh, it was uh, it was really good. But the big thing, the big thing at that conference was that I did a session on what I call WeTube. So, WeTube was all about how teams can work visually together, and. Uh, it was really, really successful. I was amazed how, how afraid people are of video and how many people don't use video and uh, how well it went. So I actually did an exercise where we kind of queued up how many people actually use video in doing any kind of team or group work. And it's very few, if hardly any, ever. Everybody's using all kinds of other visual things, but they're certainly not, uh, they're certainly not using video at all. Oh, there's my flight. Heading off to Munich now, so I've got to go get in the line, so we'll hook up with you guys later.